So good morning, uh, Michel. You are uh, from uh, Connected, I know. So um, good to have you here. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, with the expedition. So uh, uh, for people that don't know Connected uh, yet, uh, what is it? Uh, well, uh, good morning, uh, uh, Martijn. Uh, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, Connected is a website where you can learn anything from people nearby. So what we do is we connect students and teachers locally. We're kind of your local tutor on demand. And how does that work? Um, you go to connected.com, you let us know what you want to work, and we actively ask around uh, until we find a teacher that can teach you what you want to learn. Okay, cool. And, and, and how did you come up with the idea? Well, that's uh, already a, a while ago. Uh, that's uh, about uh, almost, I think, almost uh, four years ago. Uh, three and a half years ago, while well, I was still acting. Um, uh, I've been in theater for about seven years. And after rehearsals, when I sat back home uh, in a tram, I uh, sat behind two guys and I secretly overheard their conversation and I found out they were uh, just rejected uh, for a job interview due to a bad presentation and I thought why didn't these guys get to me and, and ask me like uh, could you teach me how to do a, a good presentation, how to tell a good story and then I thought we're all so locked up in our own knowledge bubbles and it's really difficult to reach out and find the knowledge we need to develop ourselves while if you look at your neighborhood, if, if you look at your city, all the knowledge we need to develop ourselves resides in the people around us. So that's when I got in touch with uh, 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 with the video of Rachel Botsman about collaborative consumption. That's about access and she inspired me to actually start Connected. So I quit my job acting. I took my laptop, went to a co-working space and just um, uh, started to test things. And then uh, a year ago on the, on the 10th of April, we uh, launched our website. Okay, so that's uh, quite a, a radical decision uh, to quit your job. Uh, I'll, by the way, I'll, uh, I I did the same a couple of years ago. But and um, but but how how did you uh, start it? Because uh, I said you, uh, you were having a job as an actor, mm -hmm. uh, so you didn't have had a job as as a, as an entrepreneur, as a marketer, as a, a programmer. So how did you start? And and also how did you use the knowledge of people around you to realize your your idea? Yeah, yeah, good, good question. So I, I already, I, I, when I was 16, I lived in, uh, in Ede, which is kind of a, it's a, it, it, it's a, it's a city in the east of the Netherlands, and not a lot of things happened there. So I, when I was 16, I started my own events company there, uh, just to organize parties, and we organized a, uh, organized a cabaret festival in the city. So I kind of already, and my, uh, my parents were both entrepreneurs. So I kind of already got something of what, what it is, what it means to be an entrepreneur, and what, uh, how, how it works. Uh, but but of course, yeah. The the main the main thing is that I took myself and uh, to a, a to a co-working space and started one day a week uh, working there, uh, while the four days were acting. And then I slowly uh, 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 went full time to entrepreneur. And it were the peers around me, were the people who were already uh, um, uh, having a, a startup, having a social enterprise, having an enterprise who teach me about marketing, teach me about finance. I, I found good mentors on, uh, on, on all the subjects you need uh, and, and then they teach me and, and I learned a lot from the people around me who failed and uh, over and over again what to, what to do and yeah, it was uh, the 60 day program of the, the impact up in Amsterdam where I got a fire started my ID and how I found and I found my, my co-founder Simon Potenza who is a, um, a, a computer scientist so I, slowly and slowly I, I got all the people around me to actually make the, make, uh, make the ID happen. Cool. And, and, and uh, how long did it took from the idea to make the, the first version online? Wow. Yeah, that, that took uh, a, a, a lot more time than expected. So, so we got a first uh, Agentschap NL, which is kind of like uh, the economic affairs of, of the Netherlands by then. Uh, it had an innovation uh, budget and we got about 35,000 euros to actually do something. So we developed our first prototype, really an MVP. And, um, uh, we, and I... I I got some money from uh, Stichting Doen later on as well to actually do that, to organize local events where people organize workshops in their own neighborhood. Uh, so we picked out two neighborhoods because I wanted the, the, the project to be um, uh, specifically for people who have a, a distance to the job market. And where, um, so I went to neighborhoods in Amsterdam, which uh, we, where, where is, uh, the, there's a lot of uh, distance to the, to the job market to organize workshops uh, uh, for people by people. Uh, that, that's what Connected still is. It's, it's education by everyone, for everyone. But then on a, uh, we organize one Saturday, one workshop in both, uh, a lot of workshops, I mean, in, in both neighborhoods. And I fly it door to door. I, I, I've been to all the, uh, uh, the, the neighborhoods uh, uh, places there. 
And uh, I, I said, oh, then, uh, in two weeks on Saturday, there's going to be a, a workshop day. You're going to learn about photography. You're going to learn about uh, about entrepreneurship. You can also do yoga workshops. Uh, it's all it's all for you to get you to get to know your neighbors and to develop yourselves. And if you want, you can teach other people as well. Um, it was a cooking workshop as well. And then there, there at both at, at both neighborhoods, there were six people showing up. And I was like, what the fuck happened? What the fuck? And then I was asking all those people, yeah, why well, why do you think there's not that many people? There's there's free workshops. There's even free food. Um, I say, yeah, you are in a neighborhood where where people have six kids and uh, 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 with the money they earn, it's not enough, so they have to work on Saturdays. And so I thought, well, I, I'm fully focusing on the wrong uh, um, uh, target audience. I, I need to re readjust my entire uh, 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 product to a, uh, uh, an audience which has has the time, has the, has the urgency and need to actually develop themselves and, and, and the money to spend on it, the time and money. So that's why we shifted, re rethought the, the product and, and, and started all over again. Okay, but I think to, it, it, it's, it's all part of the process. It's all and part of the process. <laughs> and um, because you said, okay, uh, 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 you shifted to a target group that has the, the, the time, I think also the, the priority, but also the money. But in the end, uh, 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 because I also have installed the app uh, uh, lately, um, in the end, uh, most uh, uh, services are for free. So, so uh, uh, how important is the money aspect uh, for the users, for the, for the concepts? Well, right now money is no issue, um, but in the future, we, we, so we're building now a community where people can learn anything from people in their own neighborhood. So for example, if you want to learn Spanish or building a WordPress website, you can start off with someone in your neighborhood. And we're going to add a layer where, with professional teachers who can actually earn, uh, earn money uh, uh, by giving longer courses. So if you, if you uh, want to learn further, work, uh, further WordPress building or uh, uh, um, uh, in that on Spanish, you can find a professional teacher who can teach you what you want to learn and then you start paying uh, 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 money for your courses. And we help teachers to find new students. And, and, and that was also, uh, and that idea came uh, with the, the failure of the, of the offline workshops in the, in the neighborhoods. And it, no, that came later on as well. So first we thought we're going to keep it all for free. Uh, and uh, so this is another failure. We said, okay, we're going to use businesses and events. Uh, um, uh, they are going to pay for Connected as a, as a tool to bring people together within their uh, business or within their event to exchange knowledge. But the sales trajectory and the focus was, was completely split. So that didn't help as well. So we ditched that bo uh, business model as well. We tested it. We've, we've, we've run a couple of events, but the, the focus was to, uh, it's going in two directions. And that was really, was not a good idea. So we said, okay, we need to focus on what is possible within the community and focus on community building and well, how we can actually uh, earn, mo uh, yeah, yeah, earn money uh, with it from within the community. And, and uh, uh, in your conversations with organizations uh, 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 trying to, to sell your product, what were your biggest challenges or your biggest insights in, in, in having these conversations? Uh, well, the, what the sales trajectory in the B2B market is just really long and uh, it's, it takes a while before you, uh, you come to the key decision makers. Um, that's, that's, so for a startup, uh, if you're running on a bootstrap model, um, yeah, you, you don't have the money to wait for one year uh, till someone starts paying for your product. That, that's just impossible. That's one thing. Another thing is that the, um, that once they start paying, they have all have specific needs for the product. And uh, so, if you have four clients, you need to build four products. Well, we only have the team to build one product. <laughs> So uh, yeah, those are the, I think the, the, the two main reasons not to to, to further uh, further uh, pursue uh, the B two B model. Yeah, so it was just too complicated and too too yeah yeah. Uh. <laughs> I recognize, and <laughs> and yeah. In the end, uh, also with Start Crowd Acquisition, uh, in in the beginning, I was also talking to many corporates, and 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 then after five or six uh, meetings, I said, okay, I don't want to spend my time and energy on this because the the the, the, the it takes too long, and the challenge that, that that it feels is too big. So so it's 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 a waste of my of my energy. So it's uh, yeah. And the energy we get back from uh, spending time in, in the community where people subscribe, where people actually, it's growing and people start learning from each other. And that feedback and the, the, that you see that someone has learned to make cheese or um, has learned to make a WordPress website is just, it's just incredible. So yeah. that's, uh, that's the energy we, I'm looking for exactly. And so, so, so getting back to the event, so, in, so w with the event there were only about six people uh, uh, attending uh, uh, and you put lots of energy in it. 
at what way did you uh, made it uh, happen that uh, when you built the platform that people were joining the platform because that's also a party that people have to join yeah yeah sure yeah uh, yeah that's 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 multi-layered you could say so that we we we, we have um a great community team which is is is, uh, is working on, on specifically the community building so um so we we have great ambassadors uh, we found via our community team we have about 20 in the netherlands now in different cities different neighborhoods and they organize local work local uh, activities so uh, for example don from den bos uh, he has um uh, sorry breda okay don from breda uh, uh, has given us uh, a talk about what connected is and what can, can, can what connected can do about uh, for Breda in, in in Breda. So he is actively uh, 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 yeah, activating the the community in Breda. Um, and then we have the, of course the SEO. We do we do targeted Facebook advertising as well, and we we get a lot of free publicity about uh, uh, about what we do. Yeah, uh, but but really the start. So the first let's say ten users of the platform. And what way did did you get them? Because they they did that attend to the platform by uh, by 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 advertising, I guess. Uh, no, 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 no. That that's that's yeah. That's just friends and f friends, friends and family first. Eh? So that's uh, that's the people you invite first, and uh, they start telling the story. And you start within. Uh, I worked by the time I worked in the Impact Hub, so you start there and. There's people telling around, and there's a viral uh, aspect of that. That people start talking about it. So, so yeah, really uh, get them yourself and put them on the platform. Say like, hey, what do you think about it? Uh, give me your feedback. Yeah, yeah, cool. And 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 uh, when looking uh, at the financial part of the company, so so, so you could, so you started with uh, some grants uh, from from the Dune Foundation uh, and, and 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 some other organizations. I also read something about a European grant you 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 received. Yeah, so we were accepted uh, 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 at an, um, a Berlin-based uh, accelerator, uh, and they are funded by the European Commission to uh, uh, to accelerate uh, uh, talented and innovative uh, uh, European startups. So we were selected for the first batch, and I, I think uh, only just yesterday was uh, the the final day to to, uh, to to get your application in for the second batch. Um, yeah, and that's uh, yeah, that was 175,000 euros uh, uh, equity-free uh, money uh, to actually help us accelerate our business. Okay, cool. and 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 how did you came up with a Berlin accelerator? Because I, I guess there are many different ways to get grants. Uh, I, I I also try to to understand about it. there's there's too much. So how did you find the right the right uh, uh, persons? Yeah, that and that's a, that's a complete hassle indeed. So it, specifically within the European Union, so um, there's there you have to do a lot of uh, paperwork and and that kind of uh, it's, it's it's a hassle. Don't 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 even go there. But yeah, so when I found out about this one, and I think one of the first lines I read was, "You don't have to do anything. Uh, you, 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 your your concern is in." in making your business work and not doing the paperwork for the European Union. That's what we do. And then when I read that, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Now, now I need to continue reading. And then, uh, yeah, there was a really simple, app well, simple, there was a, a good application form. But uh, uh, yeah, I, where I, I, the, the balance of the time I need to spend and uh, the reward I could get uh, was, was, fair, was fair. And then I thought, okay, I need to try this. But with nine out of 10 of these applications specifically for the European Union, yeah, it's just, just the, the the balance of the time you need to spend to actually write all these applications is just yeah, it's not worth it. And and the, so you get labeled money uh, where, you, where you, if you want to change something within your company, you need to uh, write a, a bunch of letters to make it make a change. So it, don't go don't go there unless you think okay, this is really worth. it. Yeah, so so for you, it's 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 uh, this one uh, is really worth it. Yeah, definitely. They take away all the all concerns about about uh, doing reporting to the European Union. That's the work they do, and they get they also get a little bit money for it, of course. Uh, and we are fully focused, and they help us fully on, on on making our business work. Okay, cool. And and you also did a crowdfunding campaign. Uh, what this year or last year? It was uh, it was ended the tenth of December last year. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, and it, and it was at uh, at uh, at uh, at one planet crowd a, a dead platform. Yeah. So, so we, um, how did that how did that go? Uh, well, we in the end we got uh, a little over a hundred thousand euros, and there was a complete battle. <laughs> but I, I when I when I when people ask me, uh, yeah, I want to do a crowdfunding campaign. Uh, I said, is that a good idea? I said, no, it's not a good idea. So uh, it's 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 uh, of course. The principle of crowdfunding I really like, and I th I think is that 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 uh, you can finance your your 
your your your product and or the the, the website you built with the money of the crowd and they become ownership of what you're doing as well. I think that's a wonderful concept. Um, but it's I think it's still a really young and, and in quite early stage. Um, and uh, we were, as a company, also quite early stage. We just launched the 10th of April. We started the crowdfunding campaign, I think, um, um, in the 1st of November. Um, um, and that's, that's, that's about four, four months later, five months later. Uh, so that we were really early as well. And it's and my accountant said when I said, are we going to do a crowdfunding campaign? It's really cool. And he said, well, don't do it. So it's, it's like, it, wh how much do you want to raise? I said, a uh, minimum 100,000 euros. So, and then he said, so you need 10 times 10,000 euros. Yes, yes, yes. So then he said, yeah, well, raising one time 100,000 is the same amount of time you need to spend as 10 times, uh, uh, well, as one time 10,000 euros. So you need to spend 10, 10 times the amount of time with investors as you do with one investor who's going to invest 100,000 euros. So, uh, yeah, and he was too, totally right. I, uh, I, 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 yeah, it was, it's, it's so much time and effort. Um, but yeah, the other thing which you get out of it is a lot of uh, marketing value as well. So yeah, I think what we should have done is um, focus on the marketing value and do it a lot later, later on in our in uh, in the life cycle of our of our business. And how many people did invest in your company uh, by the crowdfunding campaign? Uh, about eighty. Yeah. yeah so, so and 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 the and the uh, I think the the, uh, the 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 investments are really different in in how many. From ten, from ten euro to ten thousand euro, yeah, yeah, you could do like a, a gift, uh, and uh, but you could also so, the, so most of it is a convertible loan, so people who uh, uh, can actually become a, a owner of the company in the future as well. Yeah, that's clear, and and uh, I, I I I also checked the, the campaign uh, several times and saw really at the end uh, there were only a couple of hours or a couple of days left. Uh, there was a really really uh, uh, yeah <laughs> big investment uh, done yeah, so, so we ha we of course we, we we in the beginning we had people lined up to uh, to make it start and at the end to, to make it work uh, uh, if there was still something left and then even when we got that people in in the end then more people followed the success as well so yeah that's that's how crowdfunding works as well so people late f wait for the latest moment they can do and to see if it becomes a success and once they see it's becoming a success uh, they follow yeah, and 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 uh, uh, with the convertible loan, so that's the first money in your, uh, in your company where people are really going to 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 own a part of your company. Uh, how does it feel sir, for you as an entrepreneur? Well, I, I, we already had investors, eh? so we had okay. uh, a, y a year uh, about a year earlier. Earlier, we had already uh, uh, raised the two hundred fifty thousand euro from investors, so they were already uh, uh, we're having uh, three investors on board. Um, no, I think that 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 feels like uh, uh, a shared. Uh, 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 yeah, you you don't have to do it by yourself anymore. So you have a shared responsibility, and I think that that and you bring in uh, a, a lot of knowledge about entrepreneurship as well. So we got a a, a serial entrepreneur in, who brings a lot of knowledge in, an old banker. So that's that's you bring knowledge into your company as well, and to give you feedback on on on, on what you are doing and how you are doing it, and that that helps you as an entrepreneur as well. And do you also get the knowledge uh, b uh, by the crowd that invested in the crowdfunding campaign? Uh, well, for no, for now they are uh, they are they are all small. They are small, small. They officially don't own it yet because it's still a loan, so they, they mm -hmm. still need to convert. But uh, yeah, we need we uh, for this summer we need to organize uh, uh, an event where we get all the crowdfunders together. And we we thought about doing that uh, during our app launch, uh, but we postponed that for a while because we are still researching on uh, how to improve our product. Um, yeah because we want to build a better product than what we have right now, <laughs> of course. So yeah, uh, during our app launch, uh, we, we hope to see all of our uh, crowdfunders there, also the people who gave, uh, 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 who gifted to our company uh, to make it work. And at what way are you also, uh, because uh, you're working with different community managers in, in, in different cities, um, at what way do you re uh, reward them? Uh, 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 are there volunteers or are they, uh, how? So yeah, yeah, they are volunteers, but what we do is we offer them uh, 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 training in uh, community manage uh, management. So we invite them, uh, uh, I think, four or five times for f uh, a day of training uh, in our office or in Utrecht um, um, to actually give them the tools to uh, uh, for community management. Uh, so we, we yeah, yeah, so we give them something which they can put on their CV as well, so is that they, they follow the course in community management and practice it in the neighborhood as well. Okay, cool. And 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 then. Uh when I look at uh, the map uh, at your website, 
I also see many uh, 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 people in different countries using the platform. So, uh, uh, at what way are you uh, planning to make the next steps to different countries? Are you really just let it go, or are you really going to f focus on different countries in the near future? Um, so, um, what we what we did up till now is that we let it go. So we only focus on marketing and effort in, on the Netherlands. And uh, but our our plan is to focus if we go abroad to focus on one city first and then a city by city approach. We need we need a hyper local uh, uh, critical mass. So that's that's why we need, and also when the the business model with pro professional teachers is only going to work in cities where there is critical mass. So that's why a city to city city by city approach is is most natural to us. And then yeah, I always like to say like at ten cities in twelve months. That's that's how how we uh, how I would like to grow internationally. But first, we need to do a lot of, uh, a lot of more work in the Netherlands and really get that two point version of our product uh, up in the market. And 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 uh, to give me a time frame, uh, when do you think this will uh, will happen? Ah, uh. yeah, that's that's difficult to say. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I hope by the end of this year that that would be awesome. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's uh, that's that's. So if we can launch a, a new version of Connected and the app by the end of this summer. And then and then grow to different countries by the end of this year. That will be awesome. And and what are the main challenges? Because you are still thinking about okay, um, maybe this summer. But uh, what are your main challenges in in, bu in building the 2.0 uh, version? Um, well, the two point yeah is making is 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 perfecting the product in viral growth and uh, in um, in so what in 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 matching people together. So it's like this. So it's actually bringing people together online and letting them meet offline that's a serious serious challenge so the, the matches happen a lot online and then to actually facilitate that offline meeting uh, to a, a user interaction uh, flow uh, that's a that's a serious challenge we need to we, we really need to tackle that um, and then implementing the business model uh, of, of the professional teachers we are we are also still struggling with that and uh, testing a lot of things out and speaking to it's like this week we are in a full research week so uh, yesterday I, I, I did four, uh, four interviews, today I'm going to do four interviews uh, with just general people who never heard about Connected, just to learn how we can better facilitate that within our product. So that's going to be the, 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 the 2.0 uh, product. And then um, the other challenge is the hyper-local growth. It's how, how, can you, how can you speed it up without uh, having too much cost involved? Yeah, and, 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 and when you look at yourself as a person, as an entrepreneur, because this is also for, your, for yourself a really big learning school. Um, and what way do you uh, manage uh, your own education? Well, yeah, we do that in the company. Uh, so uh, what, we, uh, what we try to do in the company is that we have a learning uh, uh, scheme. So we, we tell people, like, uh, we, we sit together with the people uh, of our team and, uh, and we say, like, okay, what you did really good was this, what you, what you, should, what you should keep doing is this, what you sh should start doing is this. And then we communicate, like, okay, in, in one year, where do you want to be as a person, as a professional? And in five years, and how can we help you with that? So, uh, and uh, this is how we facilitate learning uh, uh, between peers within the company as well, and that's everybody is doing that. So, in a, in a, in a, I think within a month we we sit. Now you do that first with peers, the we, which are closest to you, and then uh, at the end of this month or early next month we'll sit together with the entire team to actually communicate that. So everyone knows what they are working on, what they are learning on, uh, uh, and so that you know how you can help each other. Okay, cool. I, 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 I think also really important and. Uh, you started this uh, with an idea and a vision, um, but what is your ultimate goal, or do you have an ultimate goal? Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, so, I think about two months ago, I, I, I could not sleep, and I was really frustrated by it. I, I, I was only thinking about uh, about the product, and I, 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 I didn't get any sleep during the night. And I thought, why, why am I, why the fuck am I still doing this? And then I, I thought, yeah. Because in 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 one year I want to wake up, I want to open up my my uh, my phone, and uh, get the daily analytics in, and I see I s uh, and to see that there's thousands of people who learned peer to peer new skills from each other around the world, that we can democratize education by decentralizing it and by allowing people to tap tap into that social capital which is around you, and if, if that's happening now only in the Netherlands, but I, I think that that potential is around uh, is is everywhere, so we want to make. Neighborhood, city by city, neighborhood by neighborhood, uh, 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 their own university, and uh, I, I think we can do that with Connected. Okay, cool. So wish you good luck with that, and Thank thanks you for very the interview. Much. Thank you very much. Uh, have a good day.